Alrighty, boys. So we got the key art for the July update, and it looks pretty sick. I wanted to quickly highlight this because it's really nice. Obviously, the, the art team never disappoints in Marvel Future Fight. They always, uh, you know, some crazy stuff. Hey, guys, there's a live stream tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern with 3RL. Sorry if I did any gang signs. Um, we will be there. It's live on YouTube. I will be live. Just I want to highlight a couple of details in the uh, image that I think are really, really cool. So first things first, we have Wolverine without a mask i think that's really really dope i actually think he's going to be maskless for the entire uniform i don't think it's going to be like spider gwen i think it's going to be like completely mask off the whole time which is really cool a lot of people have pointed out cassandra nova over here in the corner looks a lot like gore in the thor love and thunder key art which is very funny and very true and funny enough that update was also in july except it was july two years ago so we do have a very funny sort of you know uh, two years later, here here we are type situation. And if you actually go back and forth between the two, you can actually see just how dead on the framing is between Cassandra and uh, Gore. And I'm not saying this to say that the artist was lazy or they did any sort of like tracing or copying and pasting. There's no way that's the case. It's just funny the way that it's sort of framed the same because clearly uh, whoever is sort of guiding the art team or, or sort of like giving them notes, giving them sort of a direction, um, wants this sort of vibe where the, the, the villain's head is in the background sort of overlooking things. So I think it's actually really funny. Um, obviously, the rest of it is different. There's way more booty in this one than in this one. But another thing that I really like about this sneak peek is it has a literal uh, translation of the physical of the metaphor. Like it has a physical metaphor of the whole fourth wall break that Deadpool is is you know famous for. You can see them literally breaking through the wall of the sneak peek or of the key art, right? Like the key art here is where Cassandra is and they're ripping through that. They're tearing through the key art to get to you, uh, which is also really funny. And then you can actually see popcorn. There's popcorn here. There's popcorn up here that I can't show you because the framing is bad for me on, on, on the stream or the, the, the video. But uh, yeah, there's popcorn. So I thought that was really funny. I noticed this last night I was in bed. I was like, is that popcorn? It is. So they're really pushing hard for this whole like fourth wall break, go to the theaters type thing. Um, and then you can actually see if I show what, if I had my camera, Cassandra's having a nice cuppa, which is cool. So yeah, the the sneak peek, the, uh, the sneak peek key art, whatever, looks really nice. Uh, I'm really excited for the update. Uh, I have, I mean, this could be a huge update because you have two marquee characters, right? If they get it right and they make Deadpool and Wolverine both really strong, it'll be a really fun update with lots to do because Deadpool's been trashed for so long so we can take him through his ropes, you know, uh, and sort of uh, get a feel for how strong the character is now. And then you have a brand new character in Cassandra to play with. So that's really cool. That being said, I want to take the rest of the video to talk about how I realize, like, I'm fully aware that the game is not as fun as it used to be, or at least it doesn't attract the same audience as it used to attract in terms of like viewership, community, etc. Now it's possible, it's absolutely possible that the Deadpool Wolverine update is going to bring back a lot of players. Again, depending on how good the movie is, depending on how good the, the update is, etc. Right? That's really cool. That's all well and good. And if that's the case, I'm going to roll with that and I'm going to, you know, we're going to ride that wave until it's dead. And that's basically all I've been doing on this channel for the past uh, eight years is just ride it, finding the next wave, riding it until it's it's too small to carry my whale body. And then I just find a new wave. Right. But, you know, admittedly, in the last year or two ish. Um, there have been smaller waves and fewer waves, right? Fewer of them to ride, and they've also been smaller in size. So I actually want to extend this question to you guys. What kind of content do you want to see? Now, this is a kind of kind of a risky... It's, it's, it, it can be a risky question for content creators to ask their audience because two reasons. One, you get a lot of overlap in answers. So I encourage you, before you type out your answer in the comments, go go look through the comments. Read through like 10, 15 comments. If you find a comment that is similar, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as what you're saying. But if it's similar, just comment under that, that post, reply to it saying like, oh, here, I agree. Because it's a lot easier for me 
to go into the comments and see you know a f see fewer comments with lots of replies and be like huh this is starting a really good conversation this is probably on the mark versus i see a bunch of comments with no replies and it's much easier to interpret that as okay these are just a bunch of different opinions that are just personalized to the one person you know um, and this is something that I struggle with as well as a content creator. It's it's my, balancing my opinion about the game versus the general feeling about the game, right? And it's important to distinguish between those two things. Thank you, but no, thank you right now. It's really important to distinguish between those two things because they're not the same. And if you think they're the same, then frankly, I don't want your opinion. Um, because anyone who thinks that their opinion about the game is exactly what everyone else is thinking is most likely wrong and i'll admit i've done that a few times i've made that mistake a few times in videos where i think that my opinion is the same is exactly the same as everyone else's and that's that's incorrect straight up there's always going to be a bit of a gap so rather than just you know hey this is my chance i'm gonna get on my megaphone blah blah blah, blah you know see if there's other people that are um saying the same things as you or similar things to what you're saying and then that can create a more interesting conversation than just a bunch of people sharing a nearly identical opinion about what kind of content they want to see, what kind of thing they want to you know, watch, etc. Right. So, yeah. And don't worry, by the way, if, if no one wants to offer their opinion on what kind of content they want to watch, that's OK. I'll keep pumping out content. I'm going to be really busy after this week. Uh, shortly after the update, I have some traveling to do. So I will have to upload a bunch of videos in advance. I'm hoping, I'm sort of crossing my fingers here that Netmarble is going to do me a solid and there's going to be enough content in the update that I will have things to talk about. Hopefully that will be the case. <laughs> if it's not the case, then I'll have to go into my bag of old reliables. You know, the classic uh, top 10 combat speed blast universal types that's four videos right there boys the classic smash or pass 2024 edition i'm giving you guys sort of sneak peeks on what content may be to come but yeah i will do my best to simultaneously you know come up with novel content ahead of my break and also uh you know scan through the comments about 24 to 36 hours after this video drops scan through the comments and see if there's uh, anything that I, I can't really foresee. Uh, and I hope that's the case, right? I hope that there are at least two or three comments with lots of replies, highlighting a piece of content that uh, clearly has um, desire in the community on, on, a, on a larger level than just one or two people that I haven't been considering. Then that's great. I can get to work, start banging out those videos. And by the way, you know, kudos to the to the few of you who may be like, oh, I want to see you tier four, uh, you know, Star Lord. He's great. Kiss my ass. <laughs> straight up, straight up, brother. Straight up. I ain't doing that. I Oh, I want to see you tier four Gamora. She's so good. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. All right. We're not doing that. Like, I appreciate. I appreciate the advice. I appreciate the suggestion, the recommendation, but there's way too many characters, way too many characters still that I really want to tier four, even if I'm going to barely use them. And I don't have, where the hell are my tier four materials? I don't have enough tier four materials. I mean, I have a lot, don't get me wrong, but we do want to day one tier four Deadpool. So I have to factor that in. That could cost me another like seven, 8,000. So that'll bring me down. Uh, almost to you know four digits instead of five and then i've been uh you know mulling over someone like quicksilver i need his artifact still but i did give him a brilliant ctp so i kind of want to make use of that if for nothing else than something like conquest or sorry not conquest um otherworld battle uh and maybe a little bit of conquest yeah um even though otherworld battle actually just changed now that i think about it and it's very mutant themed there's no there's no bands right now so everyone's just using the the staple team but yeah mutant characters damage dealt increased by 200 percent and then heroes damage dealt increased by 200 percent so double dipping there for wolverine and deadpool um and then other mutants like magic etc 
And then universal damage characters received increased by 500%. So once the bans start kicking in, once the debuffed characters start kicking in next week, and Sentry's gone, Surfer's gone, Adam's gone, blah, 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 you know, all that crap is gone, uh, then we'll start to see a meta take shape. I don't think there's anyone here that's a hero mutant. I mean, Quick so, so Quicksilver's a hero, so he does get one of those two. There really isn't anyone here that I would seriously consider tier 4 for that content. I mean, I know Angel double dips. Angel is a good argument. At the same time, no, he's really not good enough. I'll just I'll just keep using Wasp. Um, yeah, they, they kind of missed the mark with Angel. I wish, wish they had given him iframe ignore or something. They also missed the mark with Doom. So, yeah, I think this year has been tough for the game because there's been a really obvious push for PvP by the developers and there hasn't really been enough um to sort of go along with that i think you know looking back now it's been about six months seven months uh i, I think that the, the push for pvp is fine like i don't think there's anything wrong with having a, a you know a bunch of updates centered around pvp i do think that they did two mistakes i think the two major mistakes they made the, the biggest mistake they made actually was not improving pvp rewards i think they should have said hey guys you know like maybe in, in in january or in march they should have said you know with with this year sort of being uh focused on pvp we're gonna be improving pvp rewards by whatever 20 percent not not even like a huge drastic radical change just like a 20 25 percent buff to rewards a little bit more crystals a little bit more gold a little bit more this a little bit more that you know maybe they uh change the battlefield shop so that you don't have to spend your mementos to get the to get the the battlefield buffs because that interferes with using the mementos to get actual good rewards for your account you know they make a couple of changes um but they 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 make it obvious to the community they're like hey guys this is what we want to focus on right and we're going to reward you for focusing on that too. So come along with us on this journey, right? Try out these new characters. You're going to get a boost. You're going to get some extra rewards. We're going to sprinkle in whatever, 20, 25% extra rewards. I think that's the first mistake they make is that they didn't really change anything, but they obviously changed their focus. So as the community, you're like, you guys are clearly focusing on PVP, but then you're also like, but you guys don't want to buff the PVP rewards, even though we've been asking you for years, especially for timeline battle. That feels pretty bad. So I, I, I can see how that turns off a lot of players. I can see how that uh, frustrates a lot of players, makes them consider quitting or actually quitting. So I think that was the first, and I think that was actually the biggest mistake that they made. The second mis biggest mistake that they made, in my opinion, not as big as the first, but still a mistake, was releasing so many sort of half-baked or three-fourths baked uh, PvP characters. You know, Madeline's counterattack doesn't work half the time. Doom's counterattack doesn't work half the time. Angel, uh, no iframe ignore. Invisible Woman, no iframe ignore. Uh, Mr. Fantastic's counterattack doesn't work half the time. I should not be able to say that so quickly about five characters uh, that were released in the, in the last six months, right? It shouldn't be that obvious. Echo, no iframe ignore. Ebony Maw, no iframe ignore. All of these characters, and of course, Angel, no iframe ignore. All of these characters are situated, positioned for PvP where's the incentive we've talked about incentives we talked about players doing that risk reward um, or sort of that that time to rewards ratio equation in their head right if i spend the time and i grind the materials and i tier four invisible woman what am i getting in return what is my reward for all that time spent and all that time sacrificed if i grind and i build up all those tier four materials and i tier four ebony maw what is the reward? What am I getting in return? I'm getting a character who stands there and dies because he doesn't have iframe ignore and he doesn't have revive or immortality? Nah, I'm not doing that. Pass, lame, and then the whole update gets labeled as lame. And then you spend a month just grinding, waiting for the next cool thing. And then the next cool thing comes up and now it's Fantastic Four. And you're like, man, there's no iframe ignore? What's going on? And you go through the same hoopla and you go through the same equation and you get to the same result, it's not worth tier fouring any of these guys. And then you start thinking, why am I playing this game? I'm just grinding mindlessly. They're not giving me any anybody cool to tier four. And thus you have a shrinking of the player base. So yeah, that's just how I see it. But I would love to hear from you guys as always. And that, that's clearly the, the focus of today's video. So yeah, 
please hit me up in the comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will have the live stream tonight. I should have said this at the beginning of the video, so I'm going to teleport now to the beginning of the video and repeat this. Hey, guys, there's a live stream tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern with 3RL. Sorry if I did any gang signs. Um, we will be there. It's live on YouTube. I will be live just a few. No, not a few minutes. I'll be live like an hour or two before. I'll play some Elden Ring. Boom. And then we will react to the live stream with 3RL. We will see all the surprises that they have, or hopefully not all of them, but most of the surprises in store for this update. It's going to be very hype. And then, of course, tomorrow morning, rise and shine, baby. We will have the patch notes to, to dissect together. So, yeah, huge stuff coming for the game this week. Keep it locked here on the channel. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, etc., etc. Thank you so much for watching the video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you in the next one. That's a lot of signs. Take care.